In a world of personal knowledge databases, there's a secret hiding in plain sight, something so powerful that they don't want you to know about. Fortunately for you, Jonathan is willing to risk his life to share this secret with you. No matter what happens, no matter how bad the pain gets, no matter what they do to his family, he will share the message with you. What we're going to cover is something that I was aware of but didn't really understand for the first couple years that I used Obsidian. And then once this clicked, everything changed. A lot of plugins made sense. A lot of other videos that I had been watching made sense. But this is a an idea that is so big or foundational to Obsidian and the way that a lot of people use it that it's kind of one of those things that everybody assumes everybody else knows but it's not something that you might think to use right out the gate. So that's why I want to share this. Now to show you what I want to talk about, it's really simple. Once you understand it, you might already have this, but again, just in case, I really wanted to go over this here, and that is a daily note. Daily notes are at the core of a lot of approaches and a lot of cool things that Obsidian can do are done through doing your daily notes properly. So I want to show you how that works. First off, I, I wanted to create a folder for daily notes. You can call it daily notes or captain's log, whatever. Uh, sometimes special characters like an apostrophe might mess up your uh, file system and stuff. So uh, let's just keep it as daily notes. And then uh, you probably have a templates folder. So then let's make a default daily template. So we'll hit command N and say... All right, what do we what do we need to do? Voila, something just super, super basic like that. So we'll close that with Command W and I wanna drag my daily note template into my templates folder because that's where I want it to be because that's where it makes sense. And in order to get the most out of daily notes, you see that there's a, a little icon here that says open today's daily note. Now before we start using that, I want to make some changes in the settings. And to do that, we go to core plugins and then daily notes right here. We click on the gear and I like this date format with the year, month, and then day at the end so that the days tick by and it's easier to sort them in chronological order. And the new file location is in the daily notes folder. And then the template location is in templates, daily note template. So there you go. Super easy. The open daily note on startup, I never use that because I always keep Obsidian running and I never restart my computer. So Obsidian is always on. But I do want to be able to open the daily note from a hotkey. So let's go over to hotkeys. And my favorite one, uh, well, let's daily notes. So open today's daily note. And the cool part is if there is no daily note, then it will create it for you, which is kind of cool. And since it's a daily note, I like command D for the hotkey. So let's hit the plus sign. And now it's listening for the proper keystroke. So hold down command D. So there we go. Command D is going to work, but we can see that one command with conflicts. So let's clear out the search here. And this little doodad here, if we kick, click on the keyboard, we can search for the hotkey instead of the command that it's connected to. So we do this and then command D, and now it shows us all commands connected to that hotkey. And the daily notes is what we just set up. I want that. 
I don't want the delete paragraph because I never use that. If I'm going to delete it, I'm one of those highlight it with the mouse and then hit backspace kind of guys. So let's get rid of that hotkey. Now there are no conflicts. And now what's cool is I can hit command D and it created a new daily note. This is the day that I'm recording this and it auto filled the uh, it auto filled from the template that we had set up. So now whatever your daily note needs to be, you can set the template and then create it very quickly. And then some of the cool things that you can do is uh, say in the log, you can say had a had a meeting with Ben. There we go. And um, what what I like to do here is not treat this as a journal or anything super important or too precious. It's more like a bulleted log of I did this, I did this. And if what I'm doing requires an entire note itself, I kind of create the note here and then click to edit that note. Okay, so now later, if I wanted to look up meeting with Ben, now over on the sidebar, this slides out. This is the calendar plugin that I've installed and we can see this, but also the inbound links. We can see that the note from today links to this note. So we automatically kind of by default have a this was created on this date kind of association. So you know that this note was connected to this day. And what's also cool from this calendar plugin, for every 250 words that I type, I get an extra dot. So it just kind of gives you an idea of how much you wrote that day. And when you click on the day, it opens your daily note, right? So now we can see we're back to today's date. And if you click on tomorrow, it'll ask you, do you want to start or create tomorrow's note? So you can take notes about tomorrow today for you to see in the future, which can be handy. So if you need to write yourself a reminder or anything, you can do it that way. But that's kind of clunky. There's a better way to do it. And that's what that reminder plugin is all about. And I really like doing this because uh, we can make this a checkbox kind of a thing. And then we say, go check the mail. And now when do we want to do this? Well, it triggers with the, I set it to parentheses at symbol. Now it triggers this calendar and then I can tell it on the 15th, I'll go check the mail. And if I want to trigger this reminder at a particular time, let's say at 1.17 in the afternoon, I should get a notification that, hey, it's time to go check the mail. And we've got over here in the upper right hand corner, you can click on reminders and you can see that today there are no reminders, but on the 15th at 117, it says go check the mail and you can click on the reminder to go to the note where this reminder is. So now you can remember when you set the reminder for yourself with a trigger for it to remind you on the day that it happens. So the fact that a lot of our life and projects center around time, it kind of makes sense for your daily note to be the hub for all activity that's connected to the day. Now, me, I don't do well with time. You ask me, how long ago did this start? How long have you been married? I, I don't know. I'd really have to think about it. 
I, I live in the ever-present now, which is a, a blessing and a curse. So this has been a huge, huge help for me to wrap my head around why the calendar works the way that it does, how reminders work the way that it does, how the backlinks work and the, the time and that kind of thing. So setting up a daily notes folder and a daily note template, then installing the calendar and reminders and using the daily note as my bulleted list of what I've done and anything I need to remember. And then again, if it needs to be big enough to be its own, its own note, I just create it here and we're good to go. So this is a super, super valuable thing that I feel like a lot of Obsidian video maker people uh, kind of gloss over as being so basic, but I can't, it took me a long time to figure it out. Hopefully this helps you get a head start and to wrap your head around the value of having a daily note practice and how simple it can be but also powerful to help you keep track of a lot of cool things. So don't overthink it. Don't try to over-engineer this if you're just getting started. Just make a daily note, even if there's no template associated with it, just use it as a bulleted, uh, I need to keep, keep these details here kind of a thing, but then get used to tying time-bound reminders all through your daily notes instead of having some separate note dedicated and it can get more capable and have more moving pieces the more comfortable you get with it but you won't get there if you don't start here so that's why i wanted to make this video and there you have it hopefully that helps you understand a way of using obsidian and being able to use other plugins to get more out of your database and hopefully do it faster than i realized it i mean i've already made several several videos about obsidian and didn't think to talk about this until just now so hopefully this gives you a head start so if you enjoyed this i strongly urge you to check out my playlist of other obsidian oriented videos and also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more stuff like that and also other videos that cover a lot of other topics like life mastery business um, mind reading tricks all sorts of fun stuff that i like to share so let me know that you enjoyed it leave a comment that really does help me know that i'm on the right track and it fools the algorithm into showing it to more people. And as I always say, if you can change your mind, you can change your life.